very nicely explained what a confidence she has that was amazing now i may here invite razia riyas and her group to come on the stage and present their lecture on respiration and digestion assalamu alaikum to everyone and welcome to our stall we all are from grade 7 this is me razia riyas it's me arjun faz myself sadia kaisar i am arbina manzoor and this is me ayan azad today our group will be talking to you about digestion as well as respiration in humans and other animals the difference in these processes are exciting let's begin with digestion all organisms big or small need food to grow live and move we get food from the world around us and somehow change it into energy and muscles how does this happen there are five basic steps involved in how organisms get the nutrients they need they are ingestion which is putting the food inside the body digestion which is breaking down the food absorption which is taking nutrients into the body assimilation which is taking nutrients together and last one is ingestion which is getting rid of fish from our body <coughs> we will be focusing on digestion well, let's begin with humans We eat food. It enters our mouth by our saliva, so as to break down some of the food. It breaks down the starch into simple sugars. After chewing and breaking down our food into smaller pieces, we swallow it. It travels from mouth to stomach through the esophagus. The stomach contains acid called HCl which means hydrochloric acid which further breaks down the food. Now this will pass through the intestines both large and small where the body will absorb the nutrients required. This takes a few hours. Yeah. The remaining food that's not absorbed leaves the body through the rectum when we defecate. This is how the process of digestion works in humans. We have one chambered stomach that breaks down the food we eat. By Sadia, why are you mentioning we have one chambered stomach? Do not all the animals have only one chambered stomach? That's great question. Cow have four chambered stomach. They are rumen, reticulum, omasium, and obimasium. This is because the grass they eat is very really difficult to digest. Okay. Have you ever noticed it? cows just sitting and chewing? They store the grass in one of their chamber and bring it back to their mouth for another round of chewing. This sounds very cool. What other animal eats in a different way? The amoeba. It's a microscopic organism, which means we can't see it. Its body is not fixed. As you can see here, the amoeba sit rests its body out in the shape of fake legs called pseudopodia. These pseudopodia capture any food nearby. Once captured, the amoeba brings the food into the body and digest it. And the waste is released through its membrane. This is very cool. I wish I could eat like an amoeba. I hope you found this an interesting as we did. Now we will be moving to another topic that is respiration. Can anyone tell me which organ we use to breathe? 
Correct. We use our lungs to breathe, but all the organisms do not have lungs. When we breathe or inhale, we take air through nose or mouth. Then the air goes to the nasal cavity to lungs through windpipe. In the lungs, the blood absorbs the oxygen from the air and releases carbon dioxide. So, when we breathe out or exhale, we release carbon dioxide or CO2. The other organ that helps with the <sighs> breathing are the ribs and diaphragm. The ribs protect our lungs. The diaphragm helps the lungs to pull in and push out air. Sometimes when the diaphragm gets stuck, we get <coughs> hiccups. If you are wondering how fish breathe in air while in the water, that's a great question. Fish do not <sighs> breathe air directly in a steam. They take water through their mouths. This water has oxygen in it. They push this water through a special organ on the side of their face that absorbs the oxygen. The organs that the fish use to breathe are the gills. As you can see here, these gills are found on the side of the fish's head. Like the blood, the gills absorb the oxygen here and releases carbon dioxide. Cockroaches, on other hand, breathe very differently. They have small openings on their side of the body, which are attached to the tube called trachea. Oxygen-rich air rushes into the trachea and spreads to the body, while carbon dioxide leaves the body through the spiracles of the cockroach. This is blowing my mind. Insects breathe differently from fishes, which breathe differently from humans. I wonder if an animal can just breathe through its skin? It's earthworm. Oxygen origin passes through its skin on the tissue inside, and carbon dioxide exits through its skin. This gets just more interesting. We hope you enjoy our presentation and have learned something new. Thank you. In my perspective, this has been the best performance of this program till now. The confidence of these students has proven this quote. You are stronger than you seem. You are braver than you seem and you are smarter than you think. Have a big hand of applause one more time for them, please. Let's move towards the next performance by one more student from poor standard, namely Sadika Sabzar. Sadika Sabzar, please come up on the dais. Have a big hand of applause for him, for her. Assalamu alaikum to all of you. Myself, Sadika Sabzar from class 3rd B. Today, I want to teach you about reproduction in animals. In school, we learned about reproduction in animals. Now, let us learn it together. Students, before we start, can you tell the difference between stable and me? Stable no means in brain and another important that is reproduced. She is great. The stable is no living thing. It is grow, move, breathe, and another important thing that they do is they produce. Students, I will also produce their young ones similar to themselves. Here we see that a baby of an elephant looks very similar to his parents. Do we note that they have similar tails, similar ears, and they have similar color too? Students, we can still produce so that life on Earth can continue. Without reproduction, life is not possible on Earth. This is because of the reproduction, life is possible on Earth. I give you an example of human beings. See, this is life cycle of human beings. First is baby. First, a mother gives birth to its baby. Baby cannot know how to walk, talk, and write. 
second is child the baby slowly learns how to walk talk and write but a child depends on their parents for food safety and education third is teenager at stage in a few years the child grow up and learns to do things on his or her own the body of the child begin change into a body of the adult the changes take place between the age of about 12 18 years fourth is adult see fourth is adult during this stage the body is fully developed this means the adult human being is ready to reproduce students there are two ways of reproduce first some animals give birth their babies directly that's known as viviparous so this can you know animal that gives both their babies directly elephant great the elephant gives both their babies directly c this is life cycle of elephant first is baby a baby elephant is born after staying for 22 months in the mother's body the elephant life lasts between uh, the age of about 10 years For the first three to five years, the baby elephant is completely dependent on their parents for food and safety. Second is young elephant. At stage, the elephant life lasts between the approximate age of about 10 to 17 years. And at stage, elephant male elephant go away from main herd. Third is adult elephant. At the age of about 18 years, the elephant become adult. and ready to produce students second some animals lay eggs i give you example of butterfly see this is life cycle of butterfly first is eggs a female butterfly lay eggs on other side the leaf the eggs are very small second is caterpillar or larva after a few days the caterpillar hatch out of the eggs and it's the same egg that it came out of it eats leaves for many days and grows in size third is crassus or pupa after growing its full size after growing its full size after growing its full size the caterpillar hangs upside down towards the leaf and creates a cover around its body called a cocoon inside the cocoon the bur- uh, sorry the crassus changes into the butterfly so metamorphosis so guys first we know what is metamorphosis metamorphosis the destroy change from baby to adult it grows to wings and two longer legs it also grows to antenna fourth is butterfly finally the butterfly came out with its soft wings folded around its body after some time the butterfly is ready to reproduce and an adult butterfly is re- sorry uh uh-huh. it uh, and and a butterfly is ready to fly this is complete life cycle of butterfly students can you remember other animal that lay eggs Great! I hope you enjoyed my presentation and learning something new. Thank you. That was brilliant. Thank you so much. Now let me invite here Sheikh Taha and his group on the stage from class fifth. Please come on, guys. Hello and welcome to our staff. It's me, Sheikh Taha from class fifth. We are. I am Anusha Firdaus from class fifth. It's me, Bissal Fayaz from grade fifth. Myself, Mursalim Firdaus from class fifth. We are the team. We are the team of orthopedic doctors. Do you know what an orthopedic doctor is? An orthopedic doctor treats patients' bone and joint related problems. Today, our group will be talking about different types of joints in our body. 
Adjoint is a place where two or more bones meet each other. Joints allow movement in our body. They help in walking, running, eating, etc. Our uh, first joint is hinge joint. Hinge joint so that the back and the fourth movement. It works like the hinge of a door. The example of hinge joint is the elbow joint. This is our elbow joint. The knee joint. This is our knee joint. Joints between the fingers. These are our joints between the fingers. Ball and socket joints. Ball and socket joints looks like this. One bone has a ball shaper and the other bone has a uh, cup shaper. The ball fits into the cup and uh, allow maximum movement in all possible direction. Ball and socket joints are found in hips and shoulders. Our neck joint is pivot joint. These joints are also fixed at one point but allow rotation. They are found at the bottom of our skull. We also have glandular joints in our body. We have bones that move on each other. These joints are found in our wrist, ankles, and backbone. They show movements like up, down, up, left, right, circular motion as well. Thank, thank you for listening carefully and patiently. Thank you very much. افراد کے ہاتھوں میں ہے اقوام کی تقدیر افراد کے ہاتھوں میں ہے اقوام کی تقدیر ہر فرد ہے ملت کی مقدر کا ستارہ نہیں ہے نا امید اقبال اپنی کشتویراں سے نہیں ہے نا امید اقبال اپنی کشتویراں سے ذرا نم ہو تو یہ مٹی بہت زرخیز ہے ساگی لیٹس مو ٹورز دی نیکسٹ پرفارمنس بائی خدا خورشید اینڈ ہو گروپ پلیز وارملی ویلکم آل اف دیم Assalamu alaikum and welcome to our stall. Welcome to all of you for attending this wonderful SLC program. I am Huda Kuchid. Welcome with my team. We all are from class 5th. I am Fadina Mushtaq. I am Ifra Ijaz. I am Aksa Shiraz. Myself Inabat Ashraf. I am Maria Jawed. Today we will talk about diseases. especially focusing on the ones that spread from person to person these are communicable diseases can anyone tell me why we chose this topic okay we chose this because of the covid-19 pandemic there was a lot of confusion about what it was how it spread and how can we protect ourselves we will be focusing on communicable diseases and how we prevent them how we prevent them communicable diseases are diseases that can easily spread from a sick person to a healthy person some communicable diseases are rabies tuberculosis the common cold ebola virus and malaria okay now let's first understand better for these diseases to spread from one person to another they need four things a source of diseases an agent a mode of transmission and the host the source of a disease is the place where the disease begins it could be another sick person or an unhygienic place the agent is what causes the diseases some common agents are bacteria viruses fungi and protozoa the mode of transmission is the way in which the disease spread one person to another this can take place through infected food or water and insect bite or direct contact with the source how can we protect ourselves from communicable diseases we can protect ourselves by washing our hands eating clean food and staying away from uh, people who are already infected from communicable diseases okay other things that we do or keep our houses clean have enough sunlight indoors and remove stagnant water stagnant water is a great place for mosquitoes to breed one last thing we can do is to get vaccinated if you are vaccinated against a disease your body will be able to fight it in if an agent enters your body this is how the covid vaccine had protected us
Yes, Badina, you are right. There are many diseases that surround us daily by getting vaccinated. We can help ourselves to not fall sick. We hope you all enjoy our presentation and will act upon our advice. Thank you all. Mashallah, mashallah. Literally an awesome performance by our future doctors. <coughs> मिटा दे अपनी हस्ती को अगर कुछ मर्तबा चाहिए कि दाना खाक में मिलकर गुले गुलजार होता है। May I now request Raifa Rafiq and her friends to present their prepared lecture in front of you all. Please welcome them. Myself, Raifa Rafiq, reading in sixth grade on the behalf of our Green Valley School, Yaripura. Today we are going to discuss about a topic which is what causes the different seasons on our planet Earth. Before starting the topic, I request to my friends to introduce themselves. Myself, Alagulza, reading in 6th grade on behalf of Green Valley Education Institute, Yaripura School. Myself, Alagulza, reading in 6th standard in Green Valley Educational Institute. Okay, thank you. Now let's move towards our topic. Does the weather remain is the same throughout the year? No, the weather does not remain is the same throughout the year. We have four seasons like summer, monsoon, winter, spring season is in a year. So today we will tell you why we have these seasons. Right, the weather keeps changing throughout the year, so what causes seasons to change? The seasons change because of Earth's revolution. Earth takes about 365 days to revolve around the sun, which is a year. We experience different seasons in a year, like summer, winter, spring and fall equinox, or we can say autumn. Now we will demonstrate to you how Earth rotates on its own axis while revolving around the sun. When Earth revolves around the sun, the sunlight hits differently parts, northern and southern hemisphere of the planet causing a yearly change in the climate called the weather. So when it's summer in the northern hemisphere, it's winter in the southern hemisphere. Or when it's winter in the northern hemisphere, it's summer in the southern hemisphere. Hope that you will have enjoy our presentation. Thank you. Magnificent. I truly appreciate it. Now we are moving towards the last performance of the first session of this program and it's going to be held by Ayan Rathar from third grade. Ayan Rathar, please come up on the day. Assalamu <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's me, Ayan Rasul from class 3rd A. I teach you about place relicate, 4 digit numbers. We will know about block. It is small square. Now scan It is used in one's place. Now second one is set trip. In a set trip, there are 10 blocks in a one set trip. It used in tens place. Now third one is flat. In a flat, there are 10 set trips, 100 blocks in a one set trip. Now last one is cube. In a cube, there are 100 set trips, 1000 blocks and 10 flats in a one set trip. One cube. There are 10 flats, 100 set trips, 1000 cube blocks. For example, one, two, four, five is 
Example one. Why is in the one's place we write one's place block? Now second one is and hundreds tens place. There are ten set ten blocks in a one set trip. We write second number in a set tens place. Thank you very much, Ayan. To all the students who appeared in the first session of this program, I want to tell them that our tomorrow may be dark, painful, we might stumble or fall down, but the stars shine the brightest when the night is darkest. If the stars are hidden, we will let moonlight guide us. If even the moon is hidden, let our faces be the bright that helps us find our way. Thank you very much for being so patient. Catch up after lunch.